Hey guys, so it's been a while and uh, I got some interesting stuff happening. I'm swapping my engine as you can see by the title of this video. I had a washer most likely fail inside the gearbox at 1700 hours on my engine. Um, I did have the 1000 hour gearbox overhaul done, um, so there was about 700 hours on the gearbox, but uh, I found out that that part wasn't required to be replaced. It's called the thrust washer and we believe that's what failed because I found a bunch of plastic in the oil tank and as some uh, metal chips as well, which is never good. So um, what happened was I was taking off and uh, actually during my run up, I noticed a slight drop in oil pressure, um, but I gave it throttle and then it came back up fine. It was just down to 30. Normal, it's about 55 or 50. So uh, yeah, I decided to take off and after takeoff, my RPM went above 5,800, um, which is not, not normal. So I got a warning that my um, uh, RPM is over speeding. So it was like 5810. And so I backed off on the, uh, on the prop to reduce the RPM of the engine. So I reduced the engine RPM, started to climb out, and that's when my oil pressure dropped again to about 30. At that point I was like, okay, something's going on and I'm probably going to land here. So I started to turn, and that's when the, the plane started to, to surge. I could feel it surging like this, just forward. There's nothing indicating this surging on the instruments of the, for the engine, um, but I could feel it. So the plane was surging, and apparently that was just the prop not able to hold um, RPM, so it was slightly changing um, because of the oil issue. So um, at that point, the uh, oil temperature started to spike. So it started to go up and up and it got to 135. I went to idle right away. And that, at that point, I was pointed at the runway and headed back to land the opposite direction. There was no wind, so I just landed the opposite direction, no problem. And then uh, once I landed, all my um, my oil temp, my oil pressure came up, my oil temp dropped, but there was obviously an issue. So I ripped apart the uh, oil system and found plastic chunks inside the oil tank. The oil filters were completely clean. Um, I just did a 100 hour inspection like a few days before this. Um, I had seven hours on the engine after that 100 hour inspection. It was all good, um, so it just basically failed. This thrust washer failed and uh, caused a lot of problems. So my options were get the gearbox uh, overhauled and try and flush all this all this plastic out of the engine. Um, I talked to Rotec and Vernon and they've had this happen on their engine and they said it was a huge pain to try and get all those plastic bits out of the engine. And uh, I also had some metal in my oil tank, which is never good. So. I'm also close to TBO, and I plan to change the engine at this fall um, after my work was all done. Uh, so yeah, basically I decided to change the engine because they have one in stock in Vernon at uh, the Rotax shop. So I'm gonna change the engine. Um, it would have taken longer to get an, a gearbox overhauled versus change this engine. So we're gonna just swap it. Yeah, it's been a good engine. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe sell it as a core back to Vernon, to the shop there. Um, but uh, yeah, we got to start ripping it off here because the new engine is going to be here in a couple days. So that's my <laughs> next few few days is taking this engine off. And uh, the next couple weeks is going to be swapping the engine for a new one. All right.